A dog the Humane Society calls dangerous is found running loose at a school, and this isn't the first time he's been violent. Joe Chiotto has exclusive video of the attack. It's tonight's big story. This security video shows a dog named Sam attack a teacher at Millard Central Middle School. The bite didn't catch his leg, only clothing. The teacher inside a vestibule was trying to keep the dog away from kids playing outside. But what's most concerning here, this attack should have never happened. This owner for almost a year and a half period did not follow the city ordinances to making sure this dog didn't attack somebody. Mark Langan with the Humane Society says the dog has a history. In the past year and a half, records indicate Sam tried to bite an MUD employee working outside and bit two other people on separate occasions, injuring one of them. NHS labeled Sam as a potentially dangerous animal and cited Isaiah Duran as a reckless owner. With that title, Duran can't own animals for four years. So Langan says back in September, Duran told them, he sent the dog to live with a family member, who then sent it to California. According to this report, the Hollywood Humane Society wouldn't check to confirm Sam was there. It turns out he clearly wasn't. We take people at their word. I mean, he provided a location and everything. But then we find the dog back here in April of this year trying to attack a teacher in Millard. So how did Sam get here? A Millard spokesperson says he escaped Duran's parked car as he stopped by the school. The teacher says he approached Duran as he tried to leave. He claims Duran said something similar to, what is the big deal? You're fine. Irresponsible dog owners not doing what they're required to do by ordinance and then putting the public at risk. The Humane Society did end up getting a search warrant for an address listed for Duran. And inside, when they entered, they did find Sam. He is now in their custody. And it is up to a judge what is going to happen to both the dog and the owner. Now, Duran here could face six months in jail and up to a $500 fine. And the dog could be put down. Reporting live with photographer Wayne Martino, Joe Chiotto, WWT 6 News. Now, back in February, a month and a half before the school attack, the Humane Society received a tip the dog was still in Omaha. They investigated but were unable to find the dog.